Hello, good evening. Vamos a esperar algunos minutos para que se conecten los demás compañeros. Okay, hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So, hello good. teacher. Hello, good evening. So, the first question is how are you doing in the platform? I didn't do the homework. The two homework, the second homework. Okay. But, yesterday. Okay, so but you are going to do it today. Yeah. Okay, that's During fine. The class. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the class of tonight. So it's the use of imperatives. And you will find here the question for tonight. 
Also remember that we need to finish the exercise three, okay? According to, to this one, okay? Okay. Very good. And uh, uh, we're going to check the attendance, of course. Let's see how it goes. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Good. Elia Janira Canizales Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present teacher. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Pierna y Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Okay, so we are going to continue with the class. So let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, oh, Gabriel is here already. Okay. Okay, so let's continue with the class. Uh, tonight, we are going to start the class with a video, okay? So you are going to watch the video and then tell me what you understood. Que entendimos del video, okay? So let's watch the video here. Here we go. My name is Darren Greenewalt. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Alta Equipment Company. We were founded in 1984 by my father, Steve Greenewalt. We are a lift truck and industrial and heavy equipment, dealership, sales, service, parts, and rental. Today we have uh, 500 employees and we're uh, rapidly approaching 200 million in sales for 2013, which would be a record year for us. I'm Ryan Greenewald. I'm the Vice President of Business Development for Alta Equipment. Working with my father has been a, a, a great privilege. He's, he's my mentor and um, what's very exciting for, uh, for my brother and, and I are both in the business is that um, he still has a passion for growing the business. In 2009, uh, in the heart of the recession, we had a dilemma with how to continue to grow the company, whether it would be through a geographic expansion outside the state of Michigan or through taking on new product lines. And uh, fortunately, we were able to do both. Uh, in 2009, we extended our reach uh, into the Chicago markets in northern Indiana with the Heister line. And we also entered the construction equipment market with the acquisition of Wolverine Tractor and Equipment. We were able to integrate four businesses in less than 60 days, get them all on our business system. We didn't miss a beat in terms of servicing the customers or invoicing customers. And so it really was the people. We've had to develop our, our management team. Everyone's had to evolve a little bit in terms of uh, managing a bigger enterprise. Today, 
Uh, we've, we've grown to 18 facilities company-wide, um, and that extends from Traverse City to Chicago and Metro Detroit. But we were able to outservice our competition, and when we were doing acquisitions, you know, that infrastructure helped us to find those synergies in some of those, those companies where we, we already had an infrastructure to build upon. As we've expanded into new markets, uh, market dynamics come into play, and so the rules that worked for us historically don't always work in new markets. So um, we've had to challenge uh, our own thought process sometimes. The guiding principle that my dad has really operated from for years is customers for life and uh, really service excellence, exceeding our customers' expectations. And today we, you know, we have a vision for you know, investing in the best talent um, and having a, a strong customer service culture that, that will continue. I think Detroit's ready for a comeback. There's a very positive energy in this, this area of the country and um, we're starting to draw back some of the talent that we lost over the years when there just wasn't a lot of opportunity here. Alta Equipment Company is a middle market company with 500 employees. We are still a family business and we value those relationships and we hope that our customers uh, see it the same way. Okay, what did you get from the video? Mm, they work with here with their father. It's a family business. Uh, okay. It's about a uh, heavy equipment. Okay. Uh, y no sé cómo se dice ganancias. Profit. Oh, sir. Ellos explicaban eso, cuántas ganancias tenían okay. y, y cómo se relacionaban con los clientes. Ok, very good, perfect. So that is it, right? So uh, the profit that they might have and uh, yeah, their relation with the customers. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Carla Daniela. Uh, okay. Any other any other comments on the video? What did you understand? Pues dice que se fundó en 1984 por el padre. Okay, it was founded in 1984 by their father. Nice. What else? Anybody else? They have they have 500 employees. 500 employees. A lot. Right? That's good. Very nice. Perfect. Good. Any other, any other thing that you have seen that is important from the video? Okay, that is very good. And yes, it's a very good idea to watch videos. Uh, I know sometimes they speak very fast, but I mean, if you continue practicing, you will be able to not only understand, but also to speak in that way. So that is a very good thing. Okay, so, and we are going to continue with the class. So the class of tonight is going to be about imperatives, okay? So imperatives are sentences that we use when you want to give a direction instruction or something that is an obligation okay it's kind of easy so those are the imperatives and we're going to we're going to check some of the imperatives the most common imperatives let's say so let's repeat imperative to use giving a direct order or command wake up now okay so that is for you to to give a direct order or command then we have imperative to use giving a warning or prohibition watch out for example don't touch me so that is like warning or prohibition. Do you know what is watch out? What is watch out? Alerta. Good, cuidado, verdad? So something like that. Watch out, we can say. 
Also, we can use the imperatives to use giving an advice. So, for example, don't be panic. Don't eat too much. Okay, so those also are imperative. Actually, these are negative. You can see there that we're going to use the simple present formula with the auxiliary. So don't be panic. Don't eat too much. Also, we have imperative to use giving an instruction. Go straight ahead, then turn left. That is an instruction. Or take the pill after a meal. That is also an instruction. And we have imperative to use giving a request. Please don't go. Please reconsider. Let me alone, please. So those are for giving a request. I have a question for you, for everybody. In the imperatives, in the example, what is missing? ¿Qué le falta al imperativo? There be, is, and are. Okay, we can actually use the verb to be or any other, not a problem with that one. Also a subject. Subject, very good. Se dan cuenta en ninguna oración dice él, ella, he, she, uh, my father. El imperativo no lleva sujeto. That's igual que en español. Levántate. Bueno, en español se ocupa más las oraciones sin sujeto. But in English, the imperatives, they do not have a subject. So you don't say, she wake up now. No, only wake up now. Watch out. Don't touch me. So we are not going to use any subject here. Do you have any questions here? Questions, preguntas, pronunciación, significado de alguna palabra. No, I guess. No, teacher. Okay. Very good. So we have. Dice, donde dice go straight ahead. Ah, okay. Go straight ahead es vaya ser recto. Ah, oh, bueno. <laughs> Yeah, that will be it. Go straight ahead. It's like, don't turn right or don't turn left. Go straight ahead. Okay, good. Any other question? Great. We are going to continue. We have other imperatives here. So, for example, yo, shut up. Shut up is an imperative, right? You give an order. Shut up. Let's go play ball also is imperative. Don't make a mess in here. Also, no subject. Stop it. Very common, that one. Stop it. Quiet, please. Also very common. Be quiet, please. Please don't throw that. For kids, right? That is for kids. Please don't throw that. I'll put it away now. Okay? Ese no es tanto un imperativo, sino que es como... You are a telling us. So, esa diría yo que no es un imperativo. Stop. Also an imperative. Stop it, please. When you use please, you are being more polite. So it's not the same to say stop it than to stop it, please. Okay, please is more polite. I don't want to do that. Mm, ese tal vez no es imperativo tampoco. Don't make a mess in here. Okay, that is an imperative. Don't make a mess in here. And we have others there. Please be quiet. Please don't throw your toys. I want to watch TV. Ese tampoco es un imperativo, es un deseo. Please don't throw your toys. Okay, that is an imperative. Joe, please, like your mom, right? When you say, please, please don't do that. So that is more polite. 
Stop it. Don't throw that. I won't watch TV now. Go to school or go to school, please. I want you to go to bed. Mm, not an imperative, but it's something like an obligation. Yeah. Okay, do you have questions with these imperatives? Questions. Yo pensaría que está bastante fácil, ¿verdad? No lleva sujeto y es para dar órdenes, commands, para requerir algo que se haga, ¿verdad? Open the door. Uh, don't close the window. Things like that. Easy peasy, teacher. I'm sorry? Easy peasy. Yeah, piece of cake. Very good. Perfect. So, since we don't have any questions, we're going to practice, okay? Uh, do you have questions here? ¿Qué significa mes? Mes es desorden. Okay. Okay, any other question? No more questions. Ok, let's practice then. Vamos a practicar. Vamos a escribir y luego vamos a compartir con los compañeros three affirmative imperatives and three negative. Diferente de lo que están ahí, ¿verdad? So, three affirmative and three negative. Los escribimos y luego compartimos con los compañeros. Si hay preguntas, me avisan. Yo estoy por acá. Ok.
Okay, so let's check together. Let's see how it goes. Let's start with, uh, let's see, Carlos Humberto. Eh, tres negativas y, y tres afirmativas, ¿verdad? Eh, tres negativas y tres afirmativas. Yeah, please. Okay, sería, don't play more video games. Okay, good. I don't want to work. Okay. Uh, I don't make dinner. Okay. Uh, affirmative, uh, hey, stop here now. Okay. Let's see in here. Okay. Uh, jump now and then run fast. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Saúl Adalberto. Okay, uh, positive, uh, go ahead. Okay. Read it now. Okay. Pull the door. Okay. Uh, negative, negative is don't play here. Don't touch fat, fat superfice. And don't park in, in the cage. Okay, very good. Don't park. Very nice. Carla, Daniela. Mm, send this letter. Okay. Take this to the dispatch. Okay. And fix it. In the negatives, uh -huh. uh, don't bother me. Don't waste it. And don't go there. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. So, Cristina Cerritos. Me acabo de conectar, fíjense. Este, ah, ok. No, no problem. Sé, no te explicó. Ay, disculpe, me andaba buscando los audífonos y se me hizo. <risa> Cuando vine a ver, ya eran las ocho y cuarto. Ok, no hay problema. Entonces, okay. solo ponga atención para que vea cómo va la estructura de las imperativos, ok. Ok, okay, okay Janet Ángel. Open the door. Ok. Read the book. Ok. He age chains. Okay. Don't don't speak. Okay. Don't worry. Don't stop it like. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Uh, affirmative. Give me the book. Okay. Turn up the volume. volume. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Negative. Mm -hmm. Don't be late. Do not go to the beach today. Don't answer me. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Ivania. Okay, teacher. Uh, don't move that. Don't not be later. Leave me alone. Do your homework. Please come on. Eat well. Okay, perfect, very nice. Uh, Elia Janira. Mm, hello. hello. Um, three is on more more time. Turn of the volume. This is um, my favorite song. Um, good play. Housey, um, by um, mm, yeah, sorry, okay. last negative. Okay. Um, don't launch this, uh, serious. Okay. Don't leave your toys okay. off the floor. Floor. Um, don't touch that. Is the hot. Okay, don't touch that. Is it hard? Very good, perfect. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Laura Fuentes. Uh, we go to the beach. Okay. Uh, let's go to the cinema. Okay. Please sit. Okay. Uh, don't go to that place. Okay. Let's not go out today. Okay. Do not eat junk food. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Roberto is not possible for Roberto. Gabriel Esaú. Not possible. And not possible for Jocelyn as well. Carla Lorena. 
Okay, and please don't stop. Don't talk in class. Be quiet and write the report right now. Go outside and tell the truth. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Uh, let's see who's missing. Gisela Hernandez. Not possible, okay. Abigail Elizabeth. Okay. The positive. Let's go to the park. Turn off your computer. Save your phone. In negative, don't open the door. Don't dry carbonated beverage. Don't fall asleep late. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, and I guess everybody did it by now. Perfect, so remember that the uh, imperative form is going to be with no subject and also is for you to request something or deliver a command or an order, or something like that one, okay? Do you have any questions before we continue? No questions. Good. Let's do a little reading. Vamos a continuar leyendo de manufacturing, okay? So I'm going to read first so you check the pronunciation, okay? Manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refinement of raw materials such as ore, wood, and foodstuffs into finished products such as metal goods, furniture, and processed foods. Converting these raw materials into something more useful adds value. This added value increases the price of finished products making manufacturing a very profitable part of the business chain. Some people specialize in the skills required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that businesses need to purchase the tools and materials. Do you have any pronunciation question? Pronunciation questions. Teacher, um, ¿cómo se pronuncia ahí donde dice? Um, Después de or, both, and fall, forces. Ahí, exacto. Foot, uh, footstuffs. Foot, 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 footstuffs. Okay. Any other question? No other question on pronunciation? Uh, the word that is before huge. Integral? Integral. Uh, yeah, integral. Integral. Mm -hmm. hmm. Any other question? Furniture, teacher, and furniture or furniture? Furniture. 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 Mm -hmm. Any other?
Ok, let's read. Vamos a leer entonces. Let's see how it goes. Voy a hacer grande por just in case, ok? So, uh, we are going to start with Cristina Cerritos. Hello, teacher. Manufacturing, si me equivoco me corrijo. Of course. <laughs> Por favor. Manufacturing, manufacturing, así sería, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> manufacturing. Manufacturing is an integral, an huge, 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 and huge part of the economy it involves involves the, involves involves the processing and refinement refinement or refinement 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 of materials materials such as or wood wood and such such food stuff such into finished uh, products such as metal wood furniture 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 and processed food converting converting these raw material materials into something 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 Converting this rough material into something more useful. 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 Useful are value. This other value increases the price. Increases. The increase. This other value increases the price of finish. Finish or finishes. Finished. Finished. Finish. Product making manufacturing a very profit um, profitable 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 a uh, part of the business pardon, of the business chain some people especially the in the specialize 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 in the skill required to require Required, required, okay. To manufacture goods while the others provide the foods that business need to purchase the tools and materials. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Cristina. Gracias. Now, Carla Daniela. Okay. Manufacturing is an equivalent huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refinement of raw, of raw materials, such as ore, wood, and food, food stuff, into finished products, such as metal wood, furniture, and processed food. Converting these raw materials into something more useful adds value. These are added. Yeah. 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 Value increases the price of finished products, making manufacturing a very profitable part of the business chain. Some people specialize in the skills required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that businesses need to purchase the tools and materials. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Elia Janira. <coughs> this uh, my factoring is an um, integral and um, goose. Huge. Use part Huge. of the use part of the economy is involved. Base. It involves. Perdón. Involves. Involves. The process of um, refining of Ref rye refinement. Material. Refinement of fry material. Source as or gold um, for photos in Food this. Foot, foot, into five, five days. Finish. 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 
Finnish problem. Search as Mithian wood metal. metal, wood factory and furniture. process. Pardon? Furniture. Furniture and process for converting the dry material in something more useful, useful and um, value. 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 This um, value increase the Increases. price. Increases the price of finches, finches products, making manufacturing a very gross, pretty, pretty, profitable. profitable part of the business chain. Some people uh, specialize, specialize. In the, specialize in the shield. Real kills. Will you my factory good? Why? Why? Other. While. Pardon? While, yeah, while. While, while. Or provides the phone. That's business need the purchase the door and material materials. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, um, Carlos Humberto. Okay, uh, manufacturing is an uh, integral and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refining, refinement of raw materials, such as wool, wood, and foodstuff, into finished products, such as mineral goods, furniture, and processed food, converting this raw material into something more useful adds value. This added value increases the price of finished products, making manufacturing a very profitable part of the business chain. Some people specialize in, in the skills required to manufacture goods, uh, while oil provide the funds that businesses uh, need to purchase the tools and materials. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Jeanette Angel. Manufacturing is in material and huge part huge. in the huge part on the company. It involves the processing and refinements, refinement refinements of right materials such as or wood and full so foodstuffs. foodstuffs. In the features products such as metal, good features and processed furniture, food. furnitures and processed food, converted these raw materials into something more useful. Uh, add value. 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 This add, added value increases the price of finished products, matching man, making manufacturing a very profi, profi, profitable profitable part of the business chain. So people specialize in the specialize in the skill of the kids required. to manufacture required to manufacture goods while others provide the full provide provide the full the business need to purchase the tool and materials. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now Mario Ernesto Lopez. Manufacturing is like it's an integral 
and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refinement of a raw material, such as ore, wood, and first to in the finished product, such as metal, wood, metal goods, furniture, and processed food. Converting this raw material into something more useful as value. This added value increases the price of finished product, making manufacturing a very profitable part of the business chain. Some people specialize in the skill required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that businesses need to purchase the tools and materials. Very good, perfect, thank you. The next one is Ivania. Okay, teacher. Um, manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy in involved. Involved. The processing and the thing refinement. Refinement. Refinement of raw material such as or wool and food stuff into into finished products such as metal, metal, food, furniture, and um, processor furniture and processor food, converting these raw materials into sometimes more use, useful as value. This added value increase the price, the price of finished product, making manufacturing a very profit part profitable. of the business. Profitable. Okay. Then part of the business chain, some people especially in the skill required to manufacture goods while others provide the funds that businesses need to push the tools and materials. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, next one is going to be uh, Laura Fuentes. Um, manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy it involves the pros processing and refinement of raw material such as or wood and food stop food stuff food stop into finished products such as material goods Mm. Furniture. Furniture and processed foods. Converting this right material into something more something. useful as value. This added value increase the price Increases. of prices, the price of finish product making manufacturing a very profitable 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 part of the business chain some people specialize in the skill required to manufacture goods while order provide the funds that business need to purchase the tools and materials very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Gabriel Saúl. Oh, I guess it's not possible for him. Okay, let's see. Uh, Saúl Adalberto. Okay, um, manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refinement of raw materials such as ore, wood, and hot stuff, 
into fin finished product, such as metal, wood, furniture, and processed food, converting these raw materials into something more useful as value. This added value increases the price of finished products, making manufacturing a very pro profitable, profitable part of the business chain. Some people, specialists in the skill required, required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that business need to purchase the tools and materials. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Gisela Hernandez. Okay, manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing in refinements of Refinement. raw material, refinement of raw materials such as oil, wood, and foodstuffs. Foodstuffs. Foodstuffs into finished products such as metal, wood, food. Furniture. Hello. Hello. Turn a very profit. Profitable. Table part of the machine chain. Some people specialize in the skills required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that machines need to purchase the tools and materials. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Thanks. the last one is Abigail Elizabeth. Okay, manufacturing is an integral and huge part of the economy. It involves the processing and refinement of raw material, such as ore, good, and foodstuff into finished products, such as metal, good, furniture, and processed food, converting this raw material into something more use, useful and value. This end value increases the price of finished products, making manufacturing a very profitable part of the business chain. Some people specialize in the skill required to manufacture goods, while others provide the funds that business need to purchase the tool and material. Okay, very good, perfect. That was very nice. Okay, um, pronunciation is very important. Remember that it's huge, huge part of the economy. It involves, involves the processing and refinement, refinement of raw materials, such as ore, wood, and foodstuffs, uh, such as metal goods, furniture and processed foods. Let's see what else. Um, increases. Let's see, profitable. Specialize. Required. While. Okay, those are the ones that you read very well, okay? Let's check some vocabulary. Let's see what is huge. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, pronuncia, por favor, este food. Food. So, ya me olvidó. Food. food. Ah, okay. Foodstuffs. 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 Tal vez de la aula. Foodstuffs. Ah, es, lo que pasa es que como es una palabra compuesta, te dice food, 
y luego dice stars. Put okay. stars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Good. Okay, so uh, my friends, what is huge? Grande. Grande, enorme, right? So, uh, what is involves? Eh, como, como implicar. Very good, implica, envuelve. Refinement. Hmm. I was looking for that word in the okay. dictionary. Nice, that's good. Refinamiento. <laughs> Refinamiento, very good. Uh, raw materials, do you remember what is raw materials? Materia prima. Materia prima. Good. Or, what is or? Oro no es. No, that is gold. Como minerales. Minerales, very good. Wood, what is wood? Madera. Madera. Foodstuffs. What is foodstuffs? Productos alimenticios. Very good. Perfect. And then it says into finished products such as metal goods. ¿Qué sería metal goods? Artículos de metal. Very good. And furniture. What is furniture? Los muebles. Muebles. Very good. And process food. And then it says converting these raw materials into something more useful adds value. Uh, what is value? Valor. Valor. Valor monetario o algo así. Uh, then it says increases the price of these goods. Uh, profitable. What is profitable? Provechoso. Como rentable. Okay, very good. Rentable. Nice. Business chain. What is business chain? Cadena de negocios. Very good. Perfect. Uh, skills. What is skills? Habilidades. Very good. Habilidades. Uh, let's see. Funds. What is funds? Fondos. Fondos. Very good. Purchase. What is purchase? Comprar. Comprar. Tools. Herramientas. Herramientas. Very good. Perfect. Nice. A lot of vocabulary. So, uh, do you have any question? Any other question? No. No questions. Very good. Okay, let's read at this a, a little bit. Uh, it says, as noted above, efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost savings. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equipment and procedures, set realistic goals, streamline intake supply chain and distribution channels do you have any pronunciation question here yes uh -huh. uh, what it says update equipment and uh, equipment then okay uh, equipment and procedures procedures okay any other pronunciation question Eager, teacher, or I? Eager, eager, or eager? Eager, or eager? Oh, higher. High, come on? Higher. Higher, uh-huh. Higher, okay. Okay. Any
de redundancias. Redundancias. Ok. ¿Any other? Ok. Ok, esta está cortita, la vamos a leer. Ok, so let's see how it goes. We're going to start with Carla Daniela. Wait. Uh, as noted above, efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost savings. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equipment and procedures, set realistic goals, uh, streamline intake, supply chain and distribution channels. Very good, perfect. Cristina Cerritos. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm not it. Noted or noted? Noted. Noted. O sea, como que fuera de. Noted. Noted, ajá. Uh -huh. As noted about. 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 As noted about. Efficiency in man manufacturing can lead to it higher, higher productivity. productivity. Así es. Yeah. Productivity. And cost savings, manufacturing, manufacturing, manufacturing are able, 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 are, are able, able to accomplish this if they are able to, able to reduce redundance, redund, redundances. Redundances. Reduce redundancia, redundancia, reduce redundancia, improve the quality of work, update equipment and equipment, equipment, okay, update equipment and proced, procedures, 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 update equipment, update of equipment, update equipment. Um, proceed, pro, procedures. 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 Set realistic goals. A string, a string, a string, a string in streamline. 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 In day supply chain. Supply chain. Supply chain and distribution and distribution channels. Good. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now, Saul Adalberto. Not possible for Saul, okay? Let's see. Sí, perdón, uh, perdón, no, no glité el micrófono. Uh, okay, okay. As noted about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost saving. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are to are able to reduce redundancies. Improve the quality of work, update the equipment, and produce procedures, set realistic goals, goals, streamline intake supply chain, and distribution, distribution channels. Good, good, perfect, nice. Okay, we are going to go now to um, Carlos Humberto. Okay, so uh, as noted about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost savings. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equipment and procedures, set realistic goals, Streamline intake, supply chain, and distribution channel. Very good, perfect, nice. Carla Lorena Mendoza. Okay. 
has not about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher produ productivity and cost saving. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equi equipment and producer, set realistic procedures, set realistic goals, a streamline intake, supply chain, and distribution chain. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now, Janet Angel. As noted about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher, higher, product, higher. Productive, productive in and cost saving. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work. Outday equipment and processes. Procedures. Set, procedures. Set realistic goals. A strain like intake, supply chain, and distribution channels. Very good. Perfect. Now, Mario Ernesto Lopez. As noted above, efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity. And cost seven, manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of type equipment and procedures, set realistic goals, stream like intakes, supply chain, and distribution channels. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Ivania. As, as not as about efficient in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost saving manufacturers are able to accomplish the, this if they are able to. Reduce redundancies, redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equipment and equipment. Equipment. And brochure, brochures. Procedures. Procedures. Set realist calls, a stain line intake, supply chain, and distribute the Channel. Very good, perfect. Now, Elia Janira. As noted about uh, well, efficient is much factoring can lead to higher, higher, pro higher productivity and cost sa saving. My factory, I are are uh, able to accomplish this is they are able to reduce redundancies. Redundances. 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 Improve the quality of work. At that equipment. Equipment. In equipment. Equipment. Equipment and products procedures procedures set receipt work a stream right in the supply chain and distribution china okay very good perfect now laura fuentes as I noted about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher, higher. productivity and cost saving manufacturing are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancy, improve the quality of work 
update equipment and procedure set realistic goals streamlining streamlining supply chain and distribution channels very good perfect now let's see uh, um, Abigail Elizabeth has nothing about efficiency in manufacturing can lead to higher productivity and cost saving. Manufacturers are able to accomplish this if they are able to reduce redundancies, improve the quality of work, update equipment and equipment. procedures, set realist goals, streamline intake, supply chain, and distribution channel. Very good, perfect, nice. I guess everybody read, right? So, uh, pronunciation above, higher, uh, accomplish, redundancies, quality, equipment, procedures and the rest was very good okay let's check vocabulary what is noted como se dijo como se señaló very good señalado como se anotó something like that above what is above anteriormente mm, something like that Above es una proposición que se refiere a arriba, pero en un espacio plano. Por ejemplo, en un papel, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos hablando de un papel, decimos, no decimos up o algo por el estilo, sino que decimos above. Um, let's say, uh, higher, what is higher? Aumentar. Mm, something like that. Sería como mayor. Mayor, más alto. Ok, a una uh, productividad más alta. So, let's see. Are able. What is able? Capaz. Very good. Nice. Accomplish. What is accomplish? Lograr. Very good. Uh, then it says reduce redundancies. What are redundancies here? Ok, redundancias en este párrafo. Redundancia. Parte. Sí, es la palabra de hecho significa redundancia, pero aquí se refiere a despidos, a gente que, que ya no trabaja en la empresa. So, es otra palabra para attrition. Then it says improve. What is improve? Mejorar. Very good. Update. What is update? Actualizar. Actualizar. And procedures, what is procedures? Procedimientos. Good. Streamline, what is streamline? Eso lo permite. Okay. Streamline es como diseñar. And then it says supply chain. What is supply chain? cadena de suministro. Very good, perfect. And distribution channel? Canales de distribución. Very good, perfect. So that is it. Do you have any question here? No questions. Okay, we are going to continue then with the book toca una conversation, okay? So, uh, we are still in the unit number one. And it says, I will be able to tell someone how to do something by using imperative. So, in the number one, it says, let's start. Question for everybody. 
What is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? Uh -huh. Price. Price is very important, very good. Any other opinion? Si es comida, teacher, la fecha de vencimiento. Okay, no. so very good. So that will be it. Uh, what is the most important thing for you in a product when you buy? The quality. Quality is very important, yeah. Very good. Okay, so let's check the conversation. Uh, vamos, la voy a leer para que vean la pronunciación and then we are going to practice in pairs, okay? Uh, it says, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Pronunciation questions here. Uh -huh. Pronunciation questions by now. Teacher, y ahí donde dice second word grab, así, o con. Uh, let's see, second grab, grab, uh, grab, grab, grab uh -huh. a price of tongues, uh -huh. a tongues, a pair, a pair of a pair tongues. Of tongues. Oh, okay, that's it, thank you. Convert your teacher, convert your. Uh, Convicture. Convicture. Convicture belt. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other? Okay. No pronunciation questions, so we're going to practice. Let's see how it goes. Siempre en pareja vamos a ir. Vamos a iniciar con Carlos Humberto en Cristina Cerrito. Okay. Hello, Mr. Wala. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. And I'm going to explain what do you must do in the product line. Um, nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Mm. First, you're in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Break this chart and check every piece. Uh, make sure it, it needs the specification in this chart. Third, Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling a report and the end of the day about the defective piece. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, Elia Janira and Jeanette Angel. Teacher, ese sería bueno que lo practicáramos dos veces porque habla más el señor Núñez que, que don Roland. Sí, tiene razón. Si quiere, ah. vamos a ir entonces cambiando. Hagámoslo dos veces. Okay. Ah, entonces ahora va Carlos Humberto y Cristina otra vez para que pueda hablar Cristina porque quiere practicar. Good. Para practicar, good practicar. Porque... Yeah, that is nice. Para practicar. Good. Okay. Este, um, empezaría con Hello, my, Mr. Roland. Yeah, please. Okay. 
Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day of the play. Eh, verdad, teacher? Plan. The plan. The plan. My name is Miss Nunez and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge or charge, teacher? Charge. Charge. First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor bill. Conveyor bill. Bill. Belt. belt. Conveyor bill. Please push this red button. 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 Second, grab a pair of stones and pick every piece, every piece, piece. of piece, every piece of chocolate. Read this, read this chart and check every pitch. May source it. Each mix the specification, a specification in this chart. Dear place, dear place, place teacher. Place. Place the uh, place the detector. Detect no defective area. Defective. The defecto. Uh -huh. Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally. Fin Finally. 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 Finally, okay, gracias. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective. Me equivoqué. Defective. Teacher. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Defective. Así es lo correcto. Yes. Defective pitch. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go with. Elia, Janira, and Jeanette Angel. Um, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plants. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to play what you must do in the produce line. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? Phil, you are in charge of stopping the convert very very oh, convert your belt. Uh -huh. Convert your belt. Please push the red button. Second grab a pair of stone and pick every piece. Of chocolate. Read this chair um check every piece. Make your a meet the specification in the chair. Dear, please the defective 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 chocolate. Perdón. Defective. 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 Chocolate in this. Final, final. Fill in report and the end in the day about this defective piece. Okay, ahora al revés. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Mr. Nunez and I am going to explain what you must do in the product of light. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do you start? First, you are a chance of stopping the, the conversion. Well, please push this thread. But set congrats appears of songs and pick every piece of chocolate for this shirt and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in the shirt. There, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in reports in the end in the 
and of the day about the defective pieces. Very good, perfect. Now, Carla Lorena and Mario Ernesto. Okay, teacher. And... Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first date at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where did we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the co computer belt. Please push the red buttons. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate with this chart and check every piece. Measure each meat. There are specifications in this chart there. Please tear we pay, place the affected chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in reports at the end of the day about the defective piece. Very good. Now the other way around. Al revés ahora. Hello, Mr. Rora. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the program. Online. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where <laughs> do we start? Uh, no, le escuchamos, Mario. No, perdón. First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second. Grab a pair of tongue and pick up every piece of chocolate. Grab this chart and take every piece. Make sure it's the specification in the start. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective piece. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Gisela, is possible for you, Gisela? Okay, not possible. So, Carla, Daniela, and uh, Carla Ivania. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each match the specifications in the chart. Third, Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in, fill in a report at the, at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, ahora al revés. Okay, hello, Mr. Roland. Today, today is your first day and the plan. My name is Miss Nunez. And I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grabbing a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Please. This chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Here, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the specific 
is. Okay, good, perfect. Now, Saul Alberto and Elia Janira. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the club. My name is Ms. Jun Ms. Nunez. And I am going to explain that you must do it in the produce, production lab. Conmigo va. Eh, sí. Yo ya lo había hecho, pero no hay problema. Ah, ah ok. No, entonces sí. vamos con otra persona. Thank you para avanzar. Thank you, uh, Janira. Ok, nice. Entonces le toca con Laura, Laura Fuente. Hello, Laura. Hello. Si le toca la segunda, donde dice, nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Ok. Um, nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Where do you we start? First, you are in church, charge of stopping the combo your belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of stones and pick every every piece piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Here, place the de place the defective defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report and the end of the day about the detective is. Very good. Ahora al revés. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at they plan my name is Miss Nunez and I am going to explain what you must do in the product line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do you we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor conveyor bell, conveyor belt. Please push this red button second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure age meets the specification in this chart. This place the Defective chocolate in this fun funnel. funnel huh? Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day, day about the defective piece. Okay, very well. Perfect, thank you. Uh, let's see who's missing. Uh, Abigail, Elizabeth, y bueno, los demás no pueden, así que vamos a repetir. A ver, le va a ayudar Carla Lorena. Ok. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Núñez, and I'm going to explain what you mean must do in the product line. Teacher, yo ya había pasado. Sí, pero ya no hay más personas, entonces okay. solo está lindo. Aquí okay, está bien. Nice to meet you, Mr. Núñez. Where do you start? First, you are in charge of shopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, break a pair of two and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure I meet the specification in this chart. There, place the detective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end 
of the day about the detective pieces. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, so pronunciation, let's be careful about um, production. O Se tiene que oír la C, ¿verdad? Production. Este, recordemos que no es Mr., es Miss. Miss Noñez. Si usted le dice Mr., ahí le cambia todo, ¿verdad? So let's be careful. Um, Conveyor belt. Okay. Button. Payer. Piece. Third, funnel, uh, defective, and this is pieces, plural. Okay, so let's check vocabulary. What is, let's see, what is explain? Explicar. Very good. What is must? Debe. Okay. Uh, what is conveyor belt? Okay, a conveyor belt es una banda esa que tienen las máquinas que va llevando cosas. Eh, banda infinita parece que le dicen, o oh, algo por el estilo, ¿verdad? es una banda de una máquina. Entonces, los chocolates van en la banda, ¿verdad? So, ahí van moviéndose. Uh, luego dice push. What is push? Presionar. Presionar, picar. Presionar, empujar. ¿verdad? Así como en las puertas, a veces dice push. Eso es empujar. Ok. What is a button? Botón. Botón, ¿verdad? Entonces, presionar el botón. Second, grab. What is grab? Tomar o agarrar. Very good. And then we have a pair. What is a pair? Un par. Un par, very good. What is tongues? Pinzas, tenazas. Very good. Pinzas o tenazas. And then it says, and pick. ¿Qué es pick? Tomar. Elegir. Tomar, elegir, levantar, ¿verdad? Como los, los pick up, ¿verdad? Un pick up es un carro que levanta cosas, lleva cosas. Um, every piece of chocolate. Let's see. What is chart? Okay, chart es como, puede ser cuadro o puede ser un gráfico. Okay. And check every piece, make sure each. What is each? Cada. Cada, very good. Cada. Okay. No, ese es inch. Eh, each es cada. Entonces, cuando dice each, meets the specification. Um, ¿Qué entendemos así como meets the specifications? Conocer las especificaciones. Cumple. Las cumplir. Ajá. Aquí es donde se ve interesante, ¿verdad? Que sí, o sea, meet es reunirme, ¿verdad? O nice to meet, ya decimos conocer. Pero en este caso ya cambia, ¿verdad? Ya es eh, que cumple, se cumple, que llega a las especificaciones. ¿Ok? Let's see what is defective. Defectuoso. Defectuoso. Very good. What is the funnel? Eso sí no sé. <laughs> okay. <laughs> un recipiente, un embudo, something like that one. Okay. And then we have fill. Fill in a report. What is fill? Como llenar o rellenar. 
Very good. Llenar o rellenar un reporte. Um, that's it. Do you have any other question here? Para el caso ahí, Bell es campana, ¿o no? Ah, Bell. Pero ahí, ajá. Sí, aquí. Ha venido con otra decir, frase. Ajá. El belt es como cincho, como cinturón. La que es campana es con doble L, Bell. Ah, Bell, ah, sí, sí, perdón, sí, Bell. Sí, sí, se parece mucho, la verdad. Entonces, en este caso, ah. sí es como un cinturón, ¿verdad? Pero es como un. Ajá. Cuando decimos los dos, es como con Bayer Belt, es como un. Una banda, una banda. Por ejemplo, los carros tienen un convenio belt o algo por el estilo. ¿Any other question? Ok. So now we are going to do the exercise three. According to the conversation, we are going to answer this question. So, Who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Uh -huh. Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland, very good. Mr. Roland is going to be right. Number two, what are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Uh huh. Stopping the conveyor belt. Okay, stopping the conveyor belt. What else? Check every piece of chocolate. Check every piece of chocolate. Very good. Read the chart. Okay, check the chart. Very good. Very good. Perfect. So read this chart. Number three. What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? Ah, esta es abierta para ustedes. What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? In your workplace. Uh, teacher, in my work, we have a, a, a machine that rolls uh, the fabrics. I don't know uh, what's the name, but do, it's do that. Ah, okay, that's interesting. So uh, it's like for you to, to manage the fabric then. Yeah, yeah. Roll in in carton, como se dice carton, carton? Carton, yeah. Okay, in one of them. And okay. the order that um, cut uh, the fabric in, in, in quarters. I mind, that is very good, very interesting to the clients. Ah, okay, nice. So oh, it's a very good machine, nice. Yeah, but oh. it's so dangerous. Yeah, I believe it's dangerous because it cuts a lot of things, right? So yeah, you need to be careful so you can manage that kind of machine. Yeah, that's why uh, only one person can use it. And what happens when that person is sick? And nobody's cut the fabrics. Oh o my sea, God. solo es para como las, las costureras, no sé cómo. How do you say costurera in English? Uh, you can say tailor. Mm -hmm. Tailor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, vaya, para ellas, para las costureras, cuando ellas les pueden ofrecer nuestras telas a los clientes, se dan como muestrarios. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo podría llamar muestrarios? Uh, you can say samples. Okay, <laughs> very good. So you provide samples and okay, it's interesting, very nice, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so let's move on. And here are imperatives, the ones that we were checking. So, um, a ver, vamos a practicar. Um, Jeanette Angel, please read the chart. Teacher? Yes, please. 
Eh, la primera. El cuadrito, el chart. Uses imperatives to give an order to give instruction or to make invitation. Imperatives do not have a subject. Example. Um, number one, read this chart and check every piece. And number two, fill in report about the defective pieces. Number three, um, unfold this chord and connect, connect, connect the blue one. Verify the old levels. Verify the old level, okay. Perfect. So imperatives uh, is for you to give an order or to give an instruction or to give or make an invitation, okay? And imperatives do not have a sub. Recordemos esto bien importante. Es la única parte en inglés que no lleva sujeto, okay? Todo lo demás, uh, yes, it has a subject. Uh, for example, read this chart and check every piece. Okay, that is an imperative. Unplug the score and connect the blue one. Okay, filling a report about the defective pieces or verify the oil level. Okay, let's see. El número uno creo que no hay preguntas. En el número dos, ¿qué dice? Filling a report about the defective pieces. Como llenar el informe de las piezas defectuosas o Very sobre good. las piezas defectuosas. Perfect, that is it. Number three, what is going to say? ¿Qué dice ella? Plow the score and connect the blue one. Desconecte o desenchufe. Desconecte ese cable y conecte el azul o uno azul. El azul. Very good. Sí, unplug, uh, desconectar, ¿verdad? desconecte este cable y conecte el azul. Nice. And the number four, it says verify the oil level. What is that? Revisar el nivel el, de aceite. Perfect, very good. So verify the oil level. Perfect, very good. Uh, okay, do you have any questions? Preguntas con los imperativos. No question. No. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the exit. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of ground? Oh, ground. Ah, okay, acá abajo. Ground. Very good. Uh, a ver, compañeros, ¿qué sería ground? Yo pienso que es tierra. Mm, como nombre puede ser tierra. On the ground, decimos, ¿verdad? On the ground. Puede ser terrestre también. Very good. Ahora, si recordamos aquí, en cuanto a estas palabras son como, como verbos, ¿verdad? Como verbo, ¿qué puede ser ground? ¿Alguien sabe? Ajá, por eso preguntaba, porque decía suelo, chocolate, algo no cuadra. No. Hay palabras que tienen diferentes significados. A veces son adjetivos, a veces son nombres, a veces son verbos. Como verbo ground es moler. Ah. Ok. Entonces claro. tenemos ground, mix, form. Sí, en el módulo pasado lo vimos. ¿Cómo? En el módulo pasado lo vimos cuando estaban hablando. Claro, ah, okay. no me importaba. Ok, very good. Perfect, that's fine, no worries. Ok, so ground, moler. Ok, uh, we have mix, we have form, assemble, label. What is label, anybody? Multiquetar. Very good. Uh, check and separate. So, estas palabras, these words are the ones that we're going to use in this, uh, in this part. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que vean cuál palabra va en cuál parte, ¿ok? Analicen lo que dice para ponerlas eh, de acuerdo al proceso.
Okay, let's check. The first one says separate the raw materials to get only the best coca beans. Uh -huh, the next one. Mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate flavor. It might be. Mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Uh, the next one. Ground. Ground. Okay, very good, yeah. Ground the cocoa beans into powder. Nice. And the next one. Mix, mix the powder. Mix the powder, uh -huh. Okay, mix the powder with milk, yeah. And the next one. Form. Form the chocolate package to finish. Mm. Do you believe is it? Assemble. Assemble. Yeah, I believe assemble is better. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Uh, and then? Form a simple paste. Label the package. Uh, yeah, form a simple paste, and then it may be um, label the package. Okay, and the last one. Check. Check quality and quality control. Very good, perfect. So that will be it, the process. Uh, todos ya se dan cuenta que son imperativos. So uh, that's why we don't have a subject into that one. Uh, what is only? Solo. Solo. Very good. And what is, let's see, powder? Powder. Very good, polvo, very good. And that is it, perfect. Do you have any other question here? Okay, no questions. And uh, we are not going to do this part because we already made some uh, sentences with that one. Very good, my friends. So today we checked about imperatives also, we check about manufacturing a little bit more. We check a lot of vocabulary. We also read and we also um, advanced in the, in the book. Very good. Do you have any questions about the class of tonight? Okay, so it's time to go to bed. So let's check the attendance, okay? Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Present. Okay. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Janira Canizales Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Present teacher. Good. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Here. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz.
Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Gracias, teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Ok, el 101 de ahora es para Carlos Humberto. So, everybody, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Dream very well and dream in English. Happy night. Thank Have you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello, Carlos Humberto. Hello. How are you? Fine. Nice, perfect. So, bueno, me imagino que usted ya tiene experiencia en los 101 y ya sabe más o menos cómo son, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya hemos hecho eso con el módulo pasado. Perfect, okay. So, the first question I have for you is, how do you feel that you are moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting something? Uh, sí, le preguntaba, eh, bueno, siempre hago la primera pregunta en estos one on one son como, ¿cómo sientes usted que va avanzando? ¿Siente que va agarrando, que va moviéndose? Sí, siento que sí, porque ya se me flexibiliza un poco más lo que es la lengua, porque eso es lo que más me cuesta, el, el pronunciar bien las palabras. Y como mi objetivo es pronunciarlas así como al, al nivel nativo, al de Estados Unidos. Very good, that is very nice. Sí, entonces, eh, entonces hay que enfocarse en eso. La pronunciación, de hecho, es muy importante porque, bueno, de hecho, sale mucha gente graduada y, y tiene un acento diferente, ¿verdad? una pronunciación un poco diferente. Eh, y es importante más que todo cuando uno sale del país, que oh, aunque se sepa la gramática, si la pronunciación no es correcta, a veces no, ¿verdad? no. Y más que todo también la, la forma de hacer la, las oraciones con jugar y todo eso, porque es lo que más cuesta. Sí, de hecho sí, hay varias cosas, ¿verdad? Es un proceso, eh, sin embargo siento que va, va bien, o sea, estaba, tenemos pocos días, ¿verdad? Pero según lo que he leído, lo que he hablado, pues siento que va encaminado. So that is very good. Yes. Perfecto. ¿Tiene usted alguna pregunta, alguna duda en cuanto a lo que hemos visto? o lo que vieron anteriormente, o algo que usted haya visto en inglés que tal vez tiene preguntas de eso? Pues hasta el momento, no. O sea, las preguntas siempre van surgiendo en el, en el camino. Ok, perfecto. Igual si tiene preguntas, pues recuerde que las puede hacer en la clase directamente. También las puede hacer uh, en los chats, ¿verdad? Y directamente conmigo o en el chat del grupo. Mm -hmm. Recuerdo que tenía eh, problemas con la plataforma, pero dice que se solucionaron. Eh, sí, ya, ya, ya pude acceder, incluso ya hasta hice la tarea ya de esta clase que estamos viendo ahorita. Ah, ok, very nice. Perfecto. Si quiere, hacemos una pequeña práctica y luego, pues, lo dejo irse a descansar. Vamos a ver cómo va. Ok. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. Okay. Where do you live? Hey, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, I live in Santa Ana too. In urbanization travel. Ah, we are very close. I mean, I live in Villarreal 3. Ah, on the other side. Yeah, very close. Okay. <laughs> very, very near. We are neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you do in your free time? And make make beats, music, electronic music. Uh, I am producer. Um, uh, uh, I see movies. Uh, go out to walk in the center of Santa Ana or the beach, the forest. Very good, very interesting. About yeah. the music, actually, that is very interesting. You know, I. Um... 
I like uh, more the rock music, but I was thinking to create a song with electronic, I mean, electronic and rock together. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's possible to combine the rock and the electronic music uh, to create a, a new uh, a new song or new cover. Okay, so maybe in the future you can help us creating that one. Yes, it's, it's very easy. Only to take a, a couple of hours to compose the music and, and make the beats. electronic. Of course. Yeah, it sounds very interesting. Very good, perfect. Okay, Carlos Huberto, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, good night, teacher. Good night, bye-bye now. Bye.